modern life, you know, the yeah. stress of life. Sure. Uh, I'm involved in producing, writing, acting. You know, you get you get material at 10 o'clock at night, and at 10 o'clock the next morning, you got to be Quasimodo. Um, so you, you need to keep. You better have good habits. I think actors or creative people get into real problems when they have sort of negative habits. Uh, don't get me wrong. I've probably sinned as much as anybody on the planet, but the plain fact is um, I always had athleticism to balance it off. So, um, you know, I just played the Terminator on Sarah Connor Chronicles. If I wasn't lifting weights and making myself big, yeah. I wouldn't be doing that kind of work. Um, so uh, I think it really behooves you to kind of foster whatever instrument you've got. have to understand it takes a lot of work. It's not just all, you know, autographs and sunglasses. It's it's a lot of work. I mean, you, you see people that, you know, you've got to physically work out because it, it is about this on screen. So you have to look good. You have to, um, uh, you know, uh, with, uh, you know, the publicity and being in front uh, of your audience and your fans constantly to keep you fresh and keep you alive. What people don't understand is that it is a lot of work. I mean, it's a tremendous amount of work. I mean, with your craft, with your, you know, you f yourself physically, I mean, yourself mentally, you have to be in front of the public all, at all times. I don't understand some of these actors who, um, you know, don't want to do autographs and they don't want to do this and they don't, I mean, that's your public, uh, to me at least, and, you know, and that's why sometimes I, I will stay way too long to sign a few extra autographs. Those are the people who, you know, don't be in the business, you know what I mean? They're paying your salary. They're, they're paying your salary, they, you know, they're the ones that, yeah, absolutely, that are, that are making you a star or keeping you working. You know, you are an athlete. You right. are um, a highly, uh, an Olympic athlete, whatever it takes in order to do that stuff. And also, if you want to have longevity, you've got to do those things. If you get into the drinking and you get into the smoking and the drugs and all of those things, in some cases, if you're, again, I don't want to mention some great actors, it colors their performances and they become something else. But um, there's going to be a downside to that. Three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I do a, uh, uh, I work out in a boot camp with a captain from West Point. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do yoga. Are you a sergeant or a, what, what, a captain from West Point? Oh, no, yeah. But what are no. you? I just wondered what you. I'm, were. I'm just a plain old private. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, it's hard. It's a real workout. And and uh, Tuesday nights, I do a rowing class. And Tuesdays and Thursdays. What do you row down at Marina Del Rey, or what, do you, what kind of rowing? It's do you? called indoor oh, rowing. Oh, okay. Indoor rowing, oh, but okay. it's the it's yeah. same thing. But, and, okay. And with cool. an Olympic a guy who wow. won, who's a, an Olympic rower. Wow, you and, get around. That's yeah, good. and then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I said I do yoga, and on Saturdays, I'm missing my walk today. I usually do a 10-mile walk in, in Venus. 10 miles? Mm -hmm. in well, Venice. you can take me out for a drag, and you can just pull me along after 10 miles. Yeah, yeah. so I keep very active wow. physically. So, you know, the whole thing, I think it's about being useful to the business. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, if you have got an extra 50 bucks, it used to be 50 bucks, now I think it's $350 for an hour. Then you pick up an extra dialect, or you learn how to drive motorcycles, or you learn how to shoot guns, and uh, it, it, writing, you know, whatever can make you useful. I think that's one reason why I keep working, is because you make yourself useful on a lot of different levels.